Who are the 10 worst legendaries in the game? No way. Good morning, guys. MTG Jedi here. This morning, I was hanging out, drinking my cup of coffee this morning, and I was watching Ash's video where he was breaking down the 10 worst legendaries in the game based on Hell Hades and Ayumi Love sites. And I was shocked that there were some champions not on this list. And there were champions on the list that I was like, why? There are way worse legendaries than that. So I decided to make my own top 10 worst 10 the bottom 10 the 10 legendaries that you should probably never level up for any reason unless you're a youtube content creator and i'm gonna break those down today okay now i highly encourage you to go watch ash's video i mean it has the adorable thumbnail with his with his son and the thumbs down but uh but for now we uh we needed another video for today guys YouTube is just processing and it's just spinning and I my video for today it's amazing but it's going to have to wait to go up till tomorrow so I'm going to just record this for you this morning and go through my top 10 now I'm going to click through every faction and I'm going to tell you the champions from that faction and if there are none then I will say there are none okay but I'm going to go through every faction so the first champion that should be in the bottom 10 is Killian the Lucky, okay? Killian the Lucky, his only salvation is that you can use him in Faction Wars. But with how many champions are in the game now, plus the free champion Arc Archmage Helmet, there is literally no reason you should ever level this champion up. He has a single hitter, a single hitter, a single hitter. He does mediocre damage and places random debuffs on himself. Do not level this champion up. Don't do it to yourself, okay? Every other champion from this faction is usable in some situations, but Killian is not, okay? Short story here. Actually, I missed the Killian Fusion when I very first started playing Raid, and I swore if I ever pulled him, I would level him immediately, and I ended up pulling him and leveling him on my original account. I have regrets, okay? I have regrets. In High Elves, there is one Legendary that you should never level up, but the reason is not what you think, okay? And yes, it is Pixneal. Okay, but the only reason she's on this list for me is because she needs six, seven, eight, fifteen, eighteen legendary books. If you cut that in half, she goes off this list to me. Okay. The reason why she's not good enough is because 18 legendary books is a pile of garbage that we should never speak of. She freaking looks amazing. Her weapons are super cool. And her kit is not that bad. She would be a C tier legendary if it wasn't for 18 freaking legendary books. And I do have a video on her recently so you should go check that out it's funny and hilarious so go check that out she's not as bad as what you think she is she's the only one from that faction in sacred order i would literally never level up errol he is pointless and useless you cannot do anything with him you cannot use him in any area of the game there are plenty of epic nukers that have aoe attacks he has a single target on all three of his abilities, and it just, he's not good enough, 
right? Like this extra 30% chance of critical hit, that should be a passive because he has it on all three of his skills, okay? And he needs something else in his kit. Either make him survivable, like when he kills an enemy, put a perfect veil on himself, or if we put a new champion in the game that gives a targeted attack, okay? Like command attack okay let's say there's a new sacred order champion let's let's not let's have it be skinwalkers um uh gregory the gorilla gregory the ape he has a command attack ability and what it does is you choose a champion they attack with any of their abilities, anyone, any of the three, they attack with any of their abilities, it has to be a single target attack, and if that attack kills an enemy, it resets the cooldown of that skill and grants an extra turn. That would allow some pretty cool things. A variation of that, perhaps, okay, maybe that would be too good, but a champion that would allow single target nuking champions to do things in the game. Period. End of story. Ash said he would rather have Faceless. I completely agree. He's a better champion. So, do not level up an Errol. I have also leveled up an Errol. Mistakes were made. He's the only one from that faction. Barbarians. Okay. This guy was not on either list. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? Okay. His A1 is bogus. His A2 is a single hitter that if you book him can stun everybody. Okay, but you have to hit the accuracy and then you have to hit the stun. So there's multiple checks involved. I hate everything about that. And number two, there's no reason. There are plenty of other champions that do crowd control that are not attack based champions that have better kits. Granted, he does look cool, but in this faction, you don't even need him for faction wars. Scylla Drakes does everything he does and better. You don't even need him ever for any reason. He is definitely in my bottom 10. Nobody else in this faction is. No, not Opardon. Opardon is decent. Definitely not Yakarl. And no, not Rathmatab. Okay, all of those are C or better champions. In Ogryn... We completely overlooked Drakul. He should definitely be in the bottom 10. Every time someone asks me about Drakul, I always say, no, you shouldn't level him up. Yes, this ability is kind of neato cool. Increase attack, increase defense, block defense if they're low HP. Is that good enough? No, it's definitely not. Uh, the shield thing, it just doesn't work how you want it to work. It's like has a freaking five or four turn cooldown and then his a1 has a small chance to stun it's just like no you should never level this champion up even if you're gonna use him you should put him at level 50 and it should be faction wars only okay don't use this guy no not war mother no not gerda both of those champions are fine they're not in the worst 10 they're not great but they're not in the bottom 10 Okay, fight me. Let's go. In Lizardman, though, Virgum Cart should be in the bottom 10. Okay, Sausage Lizard, um, Lizard Mount, you know, whatever the case might be, this awesome looking champion whose model is insanely too large, please make it smaller. This guy is not usable. Again, same thing. If you want to use him in Faction Wars, keep him at level 50. His base stats are wonderful. He does great in a shield set or bolster set for Faction Wars at level 50. You should never level this champion up. He has a A1, again, slight chance to stun. Okay. And then his A2, where you would think this is his this is his cream of the crop ability. Remove all provoke debuffs. I tried this guy in the hard doom tower on the um what the all the, like the crazy provoke waves and he doesn't even do a good enough job there he doesn't even do a good enough job there and then over here this like one random debuff no no 
and then his passive he's immune to provoke but like the turn meter fill is not enough that's not enough usually and then this is on a three turn cooldown i mean i guess if it was on a two turn cooldown but like i don't even think i don't even think this would have to make them like why doesn't this put block debuffs if this also put block debuffs I might be okay with this guy, and he might come out of the bottom 10. But currently, there's no reason you should level him up. No reason. Even against those Angar waves, he is not good enough. Not good enough. You would be much rather suited to put somebody that has block debuffs than removing the provoke. Okay? That's, that's where we're at. Alright, next up. Nobody else in Lizardman. Roxham's fine. Basatha's fine. Rosin, not as good as it used to be, still fine. Now, you know, Skull Lord Vargal is actually good now, okay? So let's move on to Skinwalkers. Obviously, it's Skinwalkers. But actually, nobody's in the bottom 10 here. Could some of these champions use a buff? 100%. I think Norog, Longbeard, Hackhorn, Warchief could all use buffs, but none of them are in the bottom 10. They're all usable, okay? Uh, in Orcs, we have what I would say is the worst champion in the game, and that is Tila. She is completely pointless. No one, no, I don't agree that she's usable, okay? This should be a 100% chance to steal a buff, okay? It would be cool if it was AoE. I don't know. I like the idea of this, but it's not good. Her kit does not work well together. She has a single target HP burn, and... 15% continuous heal buff on all allies. Just make it AoE. Just make it AoE burn. And then she's fine and usable. Single target? Are you kidding me? And then her A3 is an AoE leech, AoE heal reduction. Like, I don't like it, but okay, it's okay. But you have to book her to get the 100% chance on the leech? Or, oh, it's 85% on both. I just... And then she has a resist aura. Her kit is just confusing. It doesn't do anything. And it doesn't have AoE HP burn. You should just never use her for any reason. In any content, do not use her. Okay? Uh, Nobody else. Oh, no, that's not true. Nodgar is also on the list. Nodgar, you might think, is good enough. You might think that. And I did see Hell Hades put him in a team recently, but that team seemed super sketchy. Um, okay, that's my alarm that I need to, like, finish up and leave. Okay. <laughs> I was supposed to be done recording before that alarm went off. Just, like, this is a trick, okay? He has this, um, this, revive ability, but he just kills himself repeatedly, okay? He just kills himself repeatedly. He doesn't do enough damage. Do not recommend. He's a trap. He's a trap. That's why he's in the bottom 10. Okay? We got a couple more to finish up the video here. That was Orcs. Demon Spawn? No. We're good. All the Demon Spawn are fine. Okay? Undead? No. We're good. All the Undead are fine. El Gaius is not in the bottom 10, guys. You can use him for a lot of things. Granted, he might be D or C rank, but he's not in the bottom 10. He might be in the bottom 20, but, like, he is S tier for Faction Wars. Like, if you have him, you should use him in Faction Wars busted good. Like, makes the level so easy, okay? So he can't be in my bottom 10. He's S tier for that content. And, you know, could he be better? Yes. Do people think he's a female? Possibly. But... He is usable. I wish they would buff him. I actually like that champion. Next up, we have the Doom Tower disappointment list, and that is Chromax Moonblood. This champion also literally does nothing. We have a decrease attack A1, so if you could get him early game, that would be helpful, but still you can't. It's like you gotta play for three years to get him. Uh, then he has a single target block buffs. If this was AoE, my opinion would be completely different. Then we have AoE provoke, decrease accuracy. Again, this would be fine. He would be a good Hydra champ if this was AoE block buffs. Okay? And then 
there's this random passive that has nothing to do with his kit, but is also fine, right? But again, just like Tila, it's single target. It just makes him unusable, absolutely unusable. Everyone else in this faction is fine, good, or great. Okay, Ruel should never be in the bottom 10. Astrolith is fine. Trueath is great. I mean, Blind Seer is one of the worst Void Legendaries in my personal opinion, but she's not in the bottom 10, okay? Dwarves. There are no dwarves in the bottom 10. They're all reasonable, okay? The last one in the bottom 10 I think is going to shock you because it's not Jingwan and it's not Jinro and it's not Noble. It's freaking Gamoran, okay? Freaking Gamoran. This guy is also a trap. There's a million ways to beat Faction Wars, and he is a very difficult way to beat it. Your whole team has to survive, and then, if this is not on cooldown, you will three-star it and he'll revive your champion. That is his only saving grace. I have a video on him showing him off in Ice Golem. He's not good enough there, but you can see that for yourself if you search that video. He just... He seems like a cool champion, but he's actually a trap and actually garbage, okay? The 11th champion would be Jinro, though, okay? He is number 11, right? The thing about Jinro is that he does have, um, nothing? Nothing. Wait, he's just terrible. Okay, well, I was gonna say... He does have something to save him, but no. <laughs> but no. <laughs> like, what is this ability? Single target stun, ignore block debuffs and block damage. Increase defense and a counterattack on himself. And then, I just like... Like, his passive almost makes him usable, right? At the end of his turn, places a provoke on all enemies under increased attack. It's just too difficult to use. It's just too difficult to use. So, I don't know. He's pretty close. Maybe he should be in the bottom 10, but he's also garbage. So, anyway, what do you think of my list compared to Ash's? Well, Ashes is really HH and Ayumi loves. What do you think about my 10 worst champions list? It does have some in common with the other two, but it's also pretty different. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you back tomorrow for my awesome, tastic, amazing video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Now it's time for date day with my wife. Tell me who your worst, worst legendaries are in the game. And I will hit you up in the comments below. We'll see you guys later.